what's up party people and what's up mom welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is jen i'm a full-time reseller on ebay and poshmark and today we have part two of the collab that i'm doing with hope uh the thread up we bought a hundred pound mystery box basically for three hundred dollars we each bought one so 200 pounds total 600 dollars total <sighs> mind-blowing and if you haven't seen the first box unboxing we will i'll put that like in a card or down below i don't know <laughs> maybe both whoa but uh today is the second half of that um if you follow me on instagram you know <laughs> it's been a little bit of a rough one uh my second box spoiler alert <laughs> never showed up it never showed up so i don't have another 50 pound box to unbox but we're doing a not so mystery box unboxing i don't know why i got this i thought it'd be funny to be like ooh, i don't know i don't know <laughs> but i went to the bins instead and i tried to get 50 pounds I didn't quite get it. <laughs> I got 42 pounds and a couple of hard good type of deals that I'm just gonna unbox with you because I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> and it's gonna be way better than hopes. I already know that. So I've reached out to thread up like five or six times total. Finally, they said, okay, well, the tracking hasn't updated in over a week. We'll refund you $150. Yes! <laughs> yes! Because the first box was not great. So I went to the bins, got 42 pounds at $1.49 per pound. Uh, looks like they charged me $2 for the hard goods. Total, I spent $64.57 on my not so mystery box. It's not even a box, it's two Ikea bags. Anyway, this is the first thing that I'm going to show you if I can get it figured out. I got one of these collapsible, it's pretty big actually, just a collapsible thingy. Uh, I put small stuff in these, like I put belts, I have swimsuit tops, bralettes, those kind of things I use for these. And I only have two of them, so I got one more. The next item, I got this guy. Uh, it's gonna hold all of my CDs that I've been collecting from the Goodwill outlet, so that's exciting. I got that, and they charged me a dollar each. Well, a dollar ninety-nine for both of those. Okay, I didn't get very many shoes. I usually start with shoes and accessories. I think I got maybe two pairs of shoes. I'm looking and yes I think I did so we'll just start off um, with these these are a clog mule and they are fry and there's the little logo here uh, these are a size eight and a half these I looked them up and they're not supposed to look distressed like this <laughs> they're not supposed to look distressed like this but I think they look cool so I'm gonna sell them like this <laughs> I don't know I thought they were supposed to look like this until I looked them up and they're not <laughs> um the next one I got are these I got a hair in my mouth these are Jessica Simpson these are just like a silver ballet flat like legit ballerina type of flat these are a size nine and a half and these are new which is why I got them. I spent most of my time in the clothing because I knew that Hope wouldn't get like shoes and stuff like that in her box. So I tried to get as much clothing as I could. So, oh, my CD, my CD. This CD, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a thing until they quit giving me CDs to buy. This one I bought particularly uh, based off of the way it looks. I don't know who this person is or this band, this duo, never heard of them. It says Heart Desire Walks On. But look at that, that is a great album cover. 
It looks like they're a band. Two girls, two dudes. Uh, yeah, so I can't wait to listen to this. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that's my CD pick of the day. And it'll go in this thing later on. Okay, close. <laughs> All right, so we'll see. Day trip. This is just sold at the Buckle. It doesn't cost a lot of money, but I put this stuff in my two for 20 closet. This is a size large and it's a mock neck, lightweight, color block, crappy sweater. I would totally wear this. I might actually wear this first. I like to do that. I like to wear some stuff and then I'll put it in my two for 20 closet. But that's really cute. Top. I forgot to get my bins prepped. Oops. <laughs> I keep doing that. Uh, this one is a pink Victoria's Secret jacket. I'm trying to get it figured out here. This one's a size medium. It has sequins. There's a sequin P. It says pink. There's a little, little sequin dog on the front. And then it says pink on the back. The white part. Uh, I don't see any stains right now, but you never know. With white at the bins, it's a little terrifying. It's a little terrifying. Okay. Next up, we got a billabong size medium. Uh, this is just, ooh, ripped. Yikers, I thought it was just a cute little cold shoulder moment, but it's ripped. That sometimes happens. Um, however, I probably paid like a dollar for this. It's unfortunate, but that one has to go bye bye. And that does sometimes happen. Uh, this is Anthropology Postmark. It's a size six. It's a really cute orange skirt with these cute little buttons down the side. They do have pockets, which we love, pockets. And uh, yeah, just a cute little anthropology skirt I'll probably put in my two for 20 closet. Here's another skirt. And I'm not usually a skirt person or banana public person, um, but this one was cute. I like the, the uh, graph, it's not a graphic, the print on it. It's kind of like a chevron geometric style print size two. <laughs> this I actually found looking through a bin waiting for them to switch out the bins. So we're just standing there and then, oh look, Patagonia all of a sudden. So these are Patagonia size six. I believe these are the baggies. Uh, there's the Patagonia on there, just embroidered. It's not like 100% obvious Patagonia. Uh, which is probably why it was still there <laughs> when I was just digging. This one I got because it is so stinking soft. It's 360 cashmere, size medium, and I think it's cashmere in silk, if I remember right. No, it's wool and cashmere. So 70% wool, 30% cashmere. I'm probably just going to send this to thread up, um, but we'll see. I don't know this brand at all, so yeah, just a cashmere top. This one, I don't generally grab a Chico's, but this one's new with tags with a $169 price tag. Yes, size one, which I believe is a medium. And it's this pretty crochet lace black dress. Again, just gonna send her over to thread up. Thread up's not good at giving boxes, but you know what? I'll send them all of my stuff. Uh, this is pink Victoria's Secret. This is a bralette and it has deodorant on the front, but I'll just wash it. Um, it has a multi-stripe, I think, <gasps> you know what? That goes in the front. Okay, I get it. I get it now. So it's a crissy crossy front action and a double strap in the back with um, three prong adjustable thing. This is a size large. Very nice. Let's 
see it looks like I got some jeans here yep a bunch to go to thread up it looks like so these are white house black market here these are the skinny ankle size zero oh, zero and these are just a black high-rise skinny with a little White House Black Market metal piece right there, which is nice. Uh, White House Black Market sells really well for me on thread up. Uh, even a basic tank top, my payout was like 30 bucks and I had it listed in my two for 20 closet for a while and it was new with tags. Uh, it was just a tank top though. Okay, anyways, AG, Adriana Goldschmied. These are the legging super skinny. Mm -hmm. These are a size 25 regular, so tiny size, but that's okay. There's this light wash with a fray hem. Nice little jeans. This one is a Bowden size 2 petite. And it's this green polka dot dress, with pockets. I'll probably send this to thread up as well. If not, I'd probably list it for like 25. We'll see. I'm running, I like did five boxes already and sent them off to thread up. And I think I only have a couple more labels and they're not letting me print out anymore. <laughs> so I'm like worried a little bit. This is British khaki. I've heard of this brand, but I didn't look this up just because I liked the style of this. Uh, it's like a utility jacket or vest, a utility vest. And it's kind of this green khaki color. It's coming up true to color. So you see how it's kind of khaki, but kind of green. And what size are you? Size medium. I like it. And we got a green jean. <laughs> uh, Banana Republic mid-rise skinny. These are a size 29. I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe I'm gonna send these to thread up. I don't know. I guess, yeah. I think I got them thinking these would be cute for fall. Uh, maybe I can even try them on and wear them for fall. But they've got the distressed hand. All right. I love velvet. <laughs> so I got this. This is not like a bolo by any means. It's called Free Kisses and it's a 1X and it's a velvet velour rose floral top with this bell sleeve. So cute. I love that. Love it. <gasps> I got two CDs. Oh, I was wondering where this one went. I thought I put it back. It's Destiny's Child. And I will tell you, this was the first CD I ever owned. And it was actually a birthday gift from my neighbor, Dorothy, which she doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> yeah, Destiny's Child, hey girl. I'm Okay, good. I thought that this had fell out of my cart somehow through the slots. So glad we have it. Okay, moving right along. This is bar three, size small. Uh, this is a wool blend, yes, uh, oversized. It's like a sweater tunic with the little zippies on the side. Maybe I need to move over a little bit so you can see. Size small, which, I mean, it's oversized, but, you know. I got this. I actually sent one of these into ThreadUp, and it sold so fast. So this is a TYR uh, one-piece swimsuit, but this brand, I guess, is reversible. So this could be purple or a gray. Here, let me kind of show you. Like so. One piece swimsuit. However, it doesn't have a size because it's reversible. Um, but I'm gonna call it a medium. Okay, here's another swim top. This is just a cute circle. Uh, triangle bikini top by Victoria's Secret. It's a size small. It does have a lot of padding. See that push-up action here? Yeah, girl. So 
So there's that one. Oh, I remember this. Uh, this is just BCBG Generation. This is a size small. And this is like a cheaper line of uh, BCBG Max Azria. And this is, um, sorry, I was doing the snap here. It's a little romper. It's a blue faux wrap romper. No pockets. No pockets. This one's new with tags. <laughs> it's Doncaster, size six. It's like the color of my lips. It's really pretty purpley. This is going to thread up for sure. I feel like this brand retails for a lot. Resell isn't great, but you can't leave a new with tags item at the bins, at the bins. Looks like it has some surface something, so I'm gonna have to try and get that off the washcloth, something like that. Very nice. This is men's, and I don't generally do men's, but if I do, it goes in my two for 20. This is dry fit, size large, Nike Golf, uh, like just a half zip pullover, kind of like a base layer. Uh, it, it's breathy, it has all these holes on the back. I don't really know, just in case you get sweaty. Let your back breathe, you know. This I got based off style. This will go in my two for 20 closet. It's BKE, again, from the buckle. This is a size medium. It's a plaid, kind of like, it looks distressed, you know? But it's, it's obviously meant to be like that. Just a plaid top. This one I got, again, new with tags. I don't know this brand, but it'll go for my two for 20 closet. Cupio, it was at TJ Maxx for $16.99. The retail price says $48. So I'll just take the TJ Maxx off. And it's just a tank top with the, you know, this little action on the top. This one reminded me a lot of my American Eagle soft and sexy, but this is Hollister version of that. Must have collection, size medium. It's a stripe and it has a kind of lace up caged front. It's a crappie with the little scalloped edge kind of, yeah. My little bucket's getting full. Um, We got a gingham. We got a gingham. Oh, Vince Commuto, size medium. It's like a tunic top. The little kind of a high low action, but not really. And then it has these little ties on the sleeve. Very nice. These are a pant. They're soft surroundings and they're size medium. They're a white and blue stripe pant. So you remember I have awesome work pants in my Poshmark closet and these will be in there as well. <laughs> Those red orange ones from Cynthia Raleigh already sold. So she's going to be styling at work. So here's these ones. I got another Victoria's Secret pink. This is an extra small, but it's oversized. It's a raglan, lightweight, like almost burnout, but not just a little, like a baseball tee. Yeah. This one is exciting. And this will probably pay for my whole haul. How much was it? 64, maybe not my whole haul, but a lot of it. This is APC, which is a designer brand. Uh, size small. This is a linen shirt. Just a short sleeve. Kind of like a space die crappie. It's oversized. Shirt. That's exciting. I sold like a hot pink sweater from that brand for like 80 bucks. 60 or 80. I can't remember. This one I got based off of style. Ta-da! 
I don't know this brand at all. <laughs> uh, Fantastic Fawn, size small, obviously oversized. It's green, v-neck, and then it has like these cute color block stripey sleeves. I like it. So I got it. Oop. Here's another Victoria's Secret pink baseball tee. This one's been washed a lot, size small. It's just got a teal sleeve and gray, and then it has a dog at the bottom somewhere. There it is. Little embroidered puppo right there. Those I like to put in my two for 20 closet, just basics. Okay, on to number two, and this one's like jam packed full. And we'll start out with this. Look at how cute this is, first and foremost. So cute. Orange with tiny, little, tiny, tiny, tiny polka dots. It's a dress with a crisscross back. It's a midi dress. Buttons all the way down the front with these iridescent buttons. So cute, right? The brand, what? Coldwater Creek. What? <laughs> Size six. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Is this like not cute? Like this is trendy even. Like trendy people would wear this. Or am I getting old to the point where Coldwater Creek is cute? That's the question. <laughs> uh, we got some pants. These are Torrid size 18 work pants. These are uh, gray, heathered gray skinny, strutting in the office with your cute work pants. These remind me so much of Beta brand just because they're like pants with pockets even and you can wear them to work. But they're not obviously Beta brand. This is Prana size medium. This is a really cute blue striped dress with the kind of like a racer back. Look at this rope detail. Has the Prana emblem on the back. Cute little layered bottom. Love that. I usually list those for like 35 or 40, depending on comps normally. These ones are Levi's. They're just the 711 skinny. These are size 27, just basic. Everyone, sorry looked. about that. I got a phone call, <laughs> stopped my whole video. But anyways, 7-Eleven skinny jeans. I don't know how much these even go for because I don't think I've found any Levi's that I wanted to actually pick up. <laughs> so there's those ones. Here's some more jeans. These are a loft. Uh, do these have a style? They're the modern skinny size 6 slash 28. They're not even really that skinny. They're more of an ankle with a fray hem. But that's what it says on the inside. So there they are. This I got based off of style. It's Stetson, which I think is a Western brand, or maybe I'm just making that up in my head. It's a size medium. Um, it's a fully embroidered, look at that, little tank. It's so cute. Reminds me of like Johnny Was or, you know, maybe even a Lucky Brand type of thing. Like they go in the same category. Uh, these are a Hollister. This is a high rise skirt, size 27 or a five. This is just a black distressed mini skirt. I thought it was really cute. It has like this free hem. Very cute. This is a little bralette. This is from Sam Edelman. If I remember right, yes, it's a size large. Let me put this together here. There we go. Cute! I love the pink lace, and the floral detail. Very cute. We've got another colored pant. 
but these are chino by anthropology uh relaxed size 27. these are a lavender pant with an embroidered leg cute skinny these again you can wear to work got pockets got a little peekaboo on the back of the leg there i like those ow <laughs> i just bonked my head on the wall very nice keep it classy this one's a new with tags h and m it's just h and m it's a size medium but this is so cute this little look at these kind of puffy sleeve little i don't know it's a crop little top i liked it new with tags at the bins let's see this uh i don't know hot mond size medium i have no idea this is just a meshy fun embroidered top look at these little ruffle type of sleeve very nice very cute i like it a lot <laughs> Ooh, this is sexy kind so this is fredericks of hollywood yes size 2x very very good lingerie sexy dress let me figure it out here we go lacy number with sequins in the top see-through like maxi with a slit very nice i couldn't leave this behind love that okay moving on oh this is fun smile uh this is daydreamer which i don't think i've ever picked up and i think it's good i don't know for sure this is a size large daydreamerla.com i'm sure it's good i'm sure it's good i might have to wear this one time too before i sell it because it's so fun I have no idea how much that goes for. I have to look it up. I actually sold this exact same shirt. It's American Eagle. This one's an extra large. The one I sold was extra small. And it's just a plaid shirt, but it's distressed. Like it has holes in the elbows on purpose. Um, I feel like my other one was more distressed than this one is, but it has like a raw hem. I feel like my other one had holes on the back. My kids are home, so if you hear any weird noises, it's the kids upstairs. Um, yeah, it's really cute. I put it in my two for 20 and it sold. This, uh, and the Y. I actually looked this up. This is a size small. Uh, this will probably be in my two for 20 closet. These are like wide, wide sleeves. Oversized, just cute, little. Kind of like a basic top, but then a little pop, you know. <laughs> this is just a chambray shirt from American Eagle. Uh, it's a boyfriend fit, extra small. American Eagle is my bread and butter in my two for 20 closet. It's a long sleeve button down shirt. I only buttoned some of those. I actually buttoned those at the bins for the sake of this video. I buttoned those and then crumpled it up. So it was super wrinkly. <laughs> okay, next we have a pant. Oh, these are decent. So these are mother, mother jeans. I actually found two pairs of these in the bin, but the other one had so much stretching and puckering that I just, I left it there. These are a size 27. These are the Locko, lo, lo, <laughs> locker ankle fray that's what they're called and they have a little fray a little knee hole action that's uh probably due to wear i have no idea this is what the back pockets look like and they do have yes here it'll say mother as well so these do have a little bit of puckering here but I still feel like I can sell them 
this is another pink Victoria's Secret size large. This one's a half zip pullover blue. It has pink down the arm here and on the neck pink. Ooh, and it has pockets in the front. How fun. These are so cute. So these are a Jessica Simpson. They're called the warm up. They're a size small. They're a full length legging. Look, they have little stars. They have mesh and they have stars in the mesh. So cute. They have a zipper in the back. It says the warm up. I am loving those. If those were my size, I would keep them. And these would be like the only leggings that don't have pockets that I would keep just because they're so cute. This is new to me and it is a pajama. It's called Covered in Prayer, but it's by Barefoot Dreams, which we love a Barefoot Dreams. This is a size medium and these are just a pajama pant. Here's the print on them. It's like little ovals and it has a drawstring waist. I didn't look these up at all. <laughs> I just grabbed them. And they're soft. They're soft just like Barefoot Dreams. Maybe not, um, you know, the nubby stuff, but these are really soft. So this was a new to me brand and I looked it up and this brand is sold on Shopbop. Um, it's called Renamed size small and this is a jumpsuit so it's a halter neck it's a red orange jumpsuit with pockets and then there's a drawstring waist there the back is completely open so yeah I don't know how much this will go for but I saw that it was sold on Shopbop and uh, that was good enough for me <laughs> Here is Ariat, size small. Uh, it's kind of a gingham style snap front top and it has these cute like ladder trim, I think that's called. Um, oh, it's not a snap, snap front, it's button front. Sorry, it's button front. Oh my gosh, you guys, how cute is this? It's Harley Davidson for a kid. It's a 4T and it says Harley Davidson on the side. Oh my gosh. Little jacket. Are you kidding? So cute. That's probably not going to go for a lot, but it's so cute. This is Mountain Hardware. Size medium. And it's a blue jacket. Full zip jacket. Has a little print on the sleeve and then on the back as well. There we are. This one is a rails size small. This is just the like classic. Oh, I'm realizing there's a hole in it. That's awesome. It's a really tiny hole, but there's a hole in it. <laughs> Nonetheless, um, this is the Milo, it looks like. But I plan on putting this in my two for 20 closet. Um, I don't know what to do with the hole though. I think I'll just mention it. That's all I can do. Pocket tee. This I got because it was new. It's uh, Eddie Bauer and it's a half zip pullover pink really comfy feeling. It kind of feels like compression kind of, but comfy at the same time. Size small. This is cute. This is American Eagle as well. This one's a size small, amazingly soft hoodie. Kind of like a light gray and yellow hoodie. When I saw this, I, before I even saw the brand, I was like, oh, Autumn would love that. Which I think I'll just sell it. Here's another one. Uh, size small, American Eagle. 
This one's more of a cropped hoodie with the little stripes on the front. Oop. This one's fun. Uh, it's Spiritual Gangster, size medium. It's a full zip jacket. It says Spiritual Gangster High Vibration Living on there, on the side. It is white, it has a big, I don't know, what does that say? Sun, Surf, and Soul on the back, but it is, I don't know if you can tell, but it is really dirty. So I'm gonna wash it and see if I can get that out. Let's hope we can. <laughs> Cause that's cute. This is, what is it? Bordeaux, size medium. It's this really cute gray cardigan um, with like the exposed seams or whatever you call them uh, on the back too. I just thought it was cute style. You should see my pile. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, it's getting there. Ooh, okay, yeah. Uh, take out your notebooks because this is a Bolo brand. <laughs> Write this down. Miracle suit. Miracle suit, one word. This one's a US 38 triple D. And these, this is just a tankini top. I don't have the bottom, it's just the top. But these swimming suits go for over a hundred dollars. What, yeah, crazy, right? So I couldn't find the bottoms, but that is incredible. It's kind of like a leopard print, kind of not, but I can't wait to see how that does. And it has like a bra on the inside and it latches in the back like to make you, you know, you're in there. You're really in there. Look, it has gold. Oh, I just can't wait to see how that does. Okay, we're getting to the other side of my bag here. Oh, this was interesting. Um, I looked it up briefly. Uh, it's French. La Fille Marabouti. <laughs> Size 42, it's silky. I don't know if it's actual silk. Uh, dress, I don't know, I looked it up. I don't remember what I found, to be honest. This, I, I did this bins trip yesterday and I have just, I've gone through my 82 pounds. I'm just like a little bit overwhelmed <laughs> and all this stuff, so it's like amnesia. But this is a, what is this? Nike, leopard print, just a sports bra. This one is a size medium. Ooh, this is cool. Look, it's a Tommy jeans. Size large. And I got it because there's a little flag here but it's mohair, like the light blue is all mohair, like woven together. It's fuzzy, if you can see the fuzzies. And then the blue is like, so you can't see through it. So everything is see-through except for that blue stripe. <laughs> That's so cool, I love that. That and it's mohair and I think it, I don't know if it's vintage, it's probably not, but I like it. This one is cute. It's Venus, size six. It's a faux wrap top with plaid sleeves and a plaid back. That's so cute, right? I would totally wear that. I have like, not a hangnail, but like a stiff hangnail where it's like snagging on all the clothes. Have you ever had one of those? It's like, Stop, you know. Okay, so <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> this is Sundance, and this is the newer label. It's an extra small, but it's oversized. Um, really pretty embroidered, like tunic top. Yeah. This one is 
Ann Taylor, if you can see that. Uh, it's a size medium and it's just a leopard print basic scoop neck, scoop neck top. This is fun. This is a Vans size medium. It's a white crop top. It says off the wall on the sleeve. Off the wall. Off the wall. Oh! You got a stain. And the big old spell out on the back. I'm going to try and get that stain out. We'll see. It's the price you pay when you get white at the bins. This is cute. This is Billabong. So small. And it's just a striped crop sweater hoodie. Sweatshirt hoodie. <laughs> cute. Some more jeans. Abercrombie and Fitch. These ones might go to Autumn again. It's like she's getting all the jeans. These are just a high rise skinny. Distressed. They feel brand new, like they've never been worn. I wish I could find K in some jeans, but it's like men and boys don't ever donate their stuff. And if they do, it's because it's rags at that point, like shop rags. <laughs> oh, two more jeans. These one, oh, these are shorts. American Eagle Outfitters. These are the midi. These are a size double zero black. Midi, I can't even talk. Midi shorts and my lips are sticking together. <laughs> and these are an American Eagle. What are you? High rise jegging size zero with fray hem, some distressed knees. Very good, very good one item left here we go this is it and it's we the free it's a size extra small it's like this cowl neck tank it's really pretty kind of purpley yeah it's definitely purpley color very nice that's it hallelujah i'm so glad the thread up thing is over with i was like looking out my window every single day for two weeks waiting for that second one to come and it didn't come, so I'm excited to see what Hope got. I'm sure it's garbage. <laughs> uh, but yeah, don't forget to enter the giveaway. So our giveaway, we're running for a week uh, from today. So we'll announce the winner on Instagram. So make sure you follow us on Instagram as well. And I'll put all of our socials down below. Uh, we're going to announce it on the 28th. And to enter, you have to be subscribed to my channel as well as Hope's channel. Uh, give the video a thumbs up because it really does help us in the algorithm of YouTube. And post a comment down below. Tell me your favorite find of mine. Tell me your favorite find of Hope's as well. And then go over and enter Hope's giveaway because I already packed my five pound box. We're giving away a five pound box of clothes, free inventory, which is amazing. I already packed it. It's good to go. Just need to slap a label on it and send it to you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you loved it. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Oh, stay weird. <laughs>